Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting remotely. The cabinet recognized the importance of complying with COVID-19 precautionary measures as the situation evolved, along with the important role vaccinations and booster shots play in support of the national COVID-19 response. On the occasion of World Auditing Day, the Cabinet thanked the Ministry of Interior and all those who continue to fight the war on drugs, emphasizing the importance of strengthening cooperation with the international community to tackle illegal drugs. The Cabinet directed the commencement of payments through the Unemployment Insurance Fund of the salaries of insured Bahrainis working in the most impact impacted by COVID-19 private sector companies. The support, which will last for a three-month period with 100% compensation in the first month and 50% for each of the second and third months forms part of the overall economic package designed to protect jobs. In this regard, the Cabinet reviewed the memorandum of His Excellency the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the mechanisms for implementing a decree law on employment insurance. The Cabinet then outlined the efforts of various stakeholders in the implementation of health service initiatives and the promotion of primary health care in response to the order of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to provide services 24 hours a day at nine health centers in various governorates of the kingdom. The cabinet congratulated Gulf Air on the occasion of its 70th anniversary, noting that the company's achievement of implementing its development plans and programs have enhanced its position in the aviation industry. Representatives Council Speaker Fozi Yazena participated in the virtual meeting of the Preparatory Committee for the World Conference of Speakers of Parliament and the meeting of the Female Parliament Speakers, which are set to be held in Vienna in August. The Speaker participated in a Preparatory Committee meeting as a representative of the Arab Parliamentary Group. She was chosen to represent the group of assertion of her active and distinguished role of the parliamentary diplomacy in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which is considered an added value to the civilizational accomplishments brought about under the Comprehensive Development March of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Representatives of the international parliamentary groups took part in the meeting, which reviewed a report on the outcome of the previous one. It also shed light on the ongoing preparations for SWCSP and the meeting of the female parliament speakers slated to be held in Vienna. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, participated in the opening of the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS, which was held in Italy with the participation of a number of officials. The minister delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to all the briefs and updates that were presented in regards to combating ISIS. The minister affirmed Bahrain's full support of the coalition and all efforts that aim to combat ISIS. He urged to be more cautious towards any form of new terrorist attacks and threats and exert further efforts to achieve peace in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Luigi Di Maio, within the framework of his visit to Italy to participate in the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS. The minister hailed and praised Italy for hosting the meeting and expressed Bahrain's pride in its close ties with Italy and their continuous development. He affirmed the importance of developing joint cooperation in all fields. For his part, the Italian minister praised the bilateral relations and their development in all fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Israel, Yair Lapid, as part of the visit of the Minister to Italy to participate in the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS. The Minister of Foreign Affairs congratulated Yair Lapid on assuming the position of Foreign Minister. He reviewed aspects of joint cooperation and ways to develop bilateral ties to defeat common aspirations within the framework of the Declaration of Support for Peace signed between the two countries, stressing the importance of supporting efforts aimed at achieving peace in the region and fulfilling the aspiration of its people for security stability in addition to holding talks in order to solve the Palestinian issue in accordance with the two-state solution and the resolutions of international legitimacy. Minister Lappert stressed the importance of further developing bilateral relations in the benefit of both countries and people. He also affirmed Israel's keenness to develop joint cooperation with Bahrain in various fields. The two sides discussed the political and security developments in the region, in addition to issues of common interest at the regional and international levels, including the situation in the occupied Palestinian territories and efforts being made to de-escalate the situation.
The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, chaired the second meeting this year of the National Committee to Combat Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases, held virtually with all committee members representing various government agencies and relevant professional associations. The meeting reviewed decision number 74 of the World Health Assembly meeting on the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases, reducing them by strengthening means of prevention submitted by Public Health Undersecretary Assistant Dr. Maryam al Hadri, in addition to the recommendations of the GCC Committee for Non-Communicable Diseases, presented by Director of the Public Health Department, Dr. Najat abel -Fatr. The Minister extended her appreciation to all members for their initiatives in enhancing the role and tasks of the committee, expressing her wishes for all members to achieve more success and in continuing to present national initiatives in the interest of preserving the health and safety of citizens and residents in the Kingdom and limiting the spread of non-chronic diseases. The Ministry of Health announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain has exceeded conducting over 5 million COVID-19 tests, which earns the Kingdom one of the highest and advanced ranks globally in testing per 1,000 persons in culmination of the achievements of the national medical team to combat the coronavirus pandemic. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,052,795 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 975,169 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,115, with 553 recoveries, 252 registered new cases, and 4 deaths. 126 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 122 are contacts of active cases, and 4 are travel-related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.